What advice would you give persons who are going through tough situations along the life's path? Because life brings about that. Well, one thing I realized is that being called strong was not positive. Because mm. I remember being called strong. I remember Captain FM saying she's a mother of the year. She is so strong and what and what. And those things kind of put you in a, in a situation where you can't actually mourn because everyone has already said you're strong. Like, uh -huh. hey, so, so you play the, the strong part, you know. Mm. So dealing with things is very, very important when they actually happen. Cry when you feel like you need to cry. Right now, whenever I feel like crying, I will cry. It doesn't matter whether I'm in front of you. I'll cry because I put it off for so long. Mm. I, put it, I put off dealing with this. I put off uh, actually seeking for help, mm. for, for my mental health. So, uh, you see, mental health is not a subject that is being talked about exactly. very much uh -huh. in Uganda or in Africa, actually. If anything, people will, will just demonize it and judge you for actually having mental issues. Say uh -huh. That is what uh -huh. they Someone is threatening to kill themselves like Rabo. No, you think you've gone through the worst. Uh -huh. Like other people are going through shit and they are quiet. So we, ha we still have that vacuum of mental health, uh, dealing with mental health in Africa. So if people can seek help, if people can seek help, if people can talk about it enough for people to seek help when they need help. Celebrities are not going to seek help because Dr. Doctor Amani, mm. how am I going to tell, tell that doctor mm. my things? Mm. Doctors, their ethics, or gambo, they, they are going to, the next news person, I'm sleeping, like that can news. So no one is comfortable talking about what they're actually going through, but people are going through things. A lot. Yes. So if we could normalize having uh, having like a mental space that's that's safe for everyone for people to go and talk about their things and and also encourage how would people that to space get come how would it be created does someone need to create it themselves family friends and you know because like you said mental health even in workplaces is yes. not something that is it is terrible it is it is terrible it is terrible i don't know how that would go i really don't know how that would go but even the doctors themselves that we, we don't have that many hospitals that are dedicated to to dealing with mental health issues you know we don't have that many actually there's a certain point when i couldn't find the doctor that was working on me and i struggled to find a doctor I couldn't find a doctor and they sent me to Butavika. And now, you know Butavika, we all mm. know it, it's for mad mm. people. Mm. But you no, feel it's for, condemned. You feel condemned as mm. you've gone mad. But no, 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 these are places we need to visit, see those doctors. They, they actually give you a prescription and it changes your life. Yeah, so if, if only we could normalize, I don't even know how that would work. I don't even know how that would work, but it's, we are still lacking in that field. Okay. Yeah.